and welcome to DTWG the prep welcome okay so in today's video we're going to be looking at um, operations with integers and we are focusing on division and multiplication okay um, I have done the video on addition and subtraction uh, of integers okay so in this video we're going to be going through this so have the questions we'll treat on multiplication are here on division okay and these are like um, sample questions you can get from your GED when it regards um, sign numbers you know when you have negative numbers all right negative integers um, positive integers so these are questions you can see so in case you're confused this video would help you to clarify any um, you know challenges you're having okay please if this is your first time on this channel please kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and also you can check our website uh, dtwgdprep.com for summary notes study guides practice free practice questions your gd math formula okay sheet and you can also join our facebook group we're over twenty two thousand members in the community great community to keep you you know motivated and you know help you in studying and if you have any questions as regard GED in your state be it Arizona New York okay uh, you can drop your questions in the group I would leave all links that would uh, you know will be useful to you in the video description box of this video okay so let's get on to this video and okay I'm sorry if you also need one-on-one -on -one tutorial you can contact me i will leave my email address in the description box all right so here we have this question so it says uh in parentheses positive three another parenthesis negative eight another parenthesis negative two okay what is the solution to this now when you see parentheses like this back to back without any like operation like um you know positive uh, addition or subtraction in between them it means that the operation that lies between this parenthesis back to back is multiplication so when you see a parenthesis this way back to back it means whatever value is in here you have to multiply with the value in here so you multiply both of them and you know when you multiply it comes together it's like a fusion all right so here and remember we are doing signs and remember your sign rules okay i have done a video called um, understanding sign rules okay but i'm still gonna uh, you know state some things here when it comes to division and multiplication using signs your negative times a positive would be what a negative when you ever you have a negative sign when you multiply it with a positive sign number you have a negative also when you have a positive times a negative it will also give you a negative now when you have negative times negative it gives you a positive number and when you have a positive times a positive it gives you a positive number it's the same thing with division when you have um, a negative number don't worry you're going to see this here uh, that's why there are a lot of examples exercises we're going to do together so when you have a negative divided by a positive number your answer will be a negative okay integer okay and uh, also when you have a positive divided by is also the same rule with division when you have a positive divided by a negative you get negative and when you have a negative divided by a negative you get a positive and also a positive divided by a positive you get a positive okay so now let's get on to this so here this says a positive 3 multiplied by a negative 8 now what is positive what is 3 first of all you can do the numbers first what is 3 times 8 3 times 8 is 24 then what is the sign positive times negative from our rule here it is going to be what negative now the next thing so we have this answer is negative 24 now we have to multiply negative 24 by negative 2. now 24 times 2 it will give us a 48 then a negative times negative would give us what a positive so the answer to this is what a positive 
48. Okay, I hope you see this. Now here, you have a negative 3 times a negative 8. Now, 3 times 8 is 24. And what is negative times negative? It's a positive. Okay, and here, so you have a positive 24 multiplying by a negative 2. So a 24 times 2, that will give us 48. And the positive times a negative is going to give us a negative. Okay, so you can see the same values here, but different signs, and the answers also took different signs. So that's why in your math, especially in algebra, you have to be very careful with your signs. If you don't um, follow the rules, you would miss the answer. Okay, so here we have here, there's a negative 1 times 2. This is When you don't see a sign in front of a number, it means this number is a positive what? number okay it's a positive integer okay so here you have a negative one times a positive two that's going to give us a negative two okay one times two is two and negative times positive is negative now a negative two times a negative three is going to give us a positive six two times three six and negative times negative positive now you have a positive 6 times 2 is going to give us a positive 12. 6 times 2, 12. And positive times positive here is what? A positive. Now, finally, a positive 12 times a negative 5, that will give us a negative 60. Okay, because 12 times 5, 60. And positive times negative is a negative. Do you see that? Good. Okay. So here we have uh, a negative 9 times a negative 9. What will that give us? That's 81, a positive 81. Now, look at this zero here. You know, uh, I do tutor my st students, and they, they get confused when they get to zero. And <laughs> that's some I tutor. And uh, what they do is they just keep the zero. Uh, they feel the zero, maybe it, you just add maybe plus zero. But no, because there's no addition sign here, okay? So, and what they do is they do positive 8, then finally times negative 1, and they say the answer is negative 81. But this is wrong, okay? When you have a 0, a positive 81 times 0 is 0. And a 0 times negative 1 is 0. So, examiners know that this kind of questions confuse students and you can see questions like this and you just see that zero hidden within <laughs> within the particular operation and it's affecting it once it zero multiplies anything it gives you a zero okay so don't confuse it with you it's an a, you are adding no no once it's multiplying it gives you a zero so the answer here is zero okay so here uh for division we have 18 this is 18 divided by negative 3. Remember, as I said, when you have a positive and negative, your answer will take a negative. And what is 18 divided by 3? That would give us a 6. So our answer is a negative 6. Now here, this is a negative 30 divided by 5. Okay, so this will also give us a negative 6. 30 divided by 5 is a negative 6. Okay, because 5 here is positive. And remember, when you have a negative and positive, your answer would be a negative. Here, you have a negative 60 divided by negative 12. Okay, we're going to have a positive 5. Okay, because negative divided by negative will give us a positive, And 60 divided by 12 is going to give us a 5. So here we have 12 times 5, which is 60. And we have divided by negative 3 times 2. That's a negative 6. And this is 60 divided by negative 6. And this will give us a negative 10. Here we have 16 times a negative 3. And that would give us uh, 16 times 3. That would give us negative 48. Okay, because this is a positive 16 times negative 3. Give us a negative 48 divided by a negative 8 times a negative 2. Um, 8 times 2 is 16. And what is a negative times negative? It's positive. All right. So here 
we have 48 divided by 16 and which will give us what? 3. And remember, when you have negative over positive, our answer would be negative. Okay? Another way you could, you could look at division is when you have a negative, negative, you can just easily, can, it cancels out and you answer with positive. But here, when you have a positive, negative, there's nothing to cancel out the negative because here is the positive. So it means your answer will take a negative. That's another way of looking at it. But if you're confused by this way, just use this formula, okay? Whenever you have a negative divided by positive, it's a negative, okay? So here we have a three times a negative four, that gives us a negative 12 and negative 12 times two, that gives us a negative 24. And what is negative 24 times five? What would that give us? Negative 24 times five, you have zero carry two, uh, 10, 10, that's 120, a negative 120 divided by here, a negative six, okay? So from here, we can cancel out, right? This negative, you know, when we have negative divided by negative, our answer will be positive. Okay, that's like canceling out. And what is uh, 120 divided by 6? That would give us 20. Okay, so this is our final answer in this uh, video on operations with integers, looking at multiplication and division. So thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video. Don't forget to please subscribe to this channel and share with your friends, family and loved ones and also check the DTWG the prep website for free uh, practice tests, your summary note for your sciences, social studies, um, guides, practice, uh, free practice uh, questions, GED practice questions and also um, if you need one-on-one -on -one tutoring, you can contact me. And uh, finally, I would always say that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ. For he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. He is the one who is going to lead us to heaven at last. In him is truth, in him is joy, in him is hope. In him is abundance of blessings. In him is eternal life. Come to him today. And he will see you through all your struggles and challenges in this world and give you peace. Yes, peace he is going to give you in abundance. Come to him and he will help you. Okay, thank you for listening to me. And uh, uh, I wish you success in your GD exam and also in life. You are destined to win.